when we start to repeat the same tasks over a thousand times, we should then start automating them. Let's talk about uh, AI and ML and machine learning and how that's uh, accelerated your journey towards being a digitally transformed organization. How have you personally experienced that journey and implementing ML and AI into your daily business? Right. So at Solvay, what we have done in the beginning was to say, okay, we need to get in there, right? Because if not, we'll be out of the game in no time. So what we have done is we did some parks, pilots, tried to do something uh, fancy about it. But then again, is there is also a, a strategy to think about is to ensure that these are maintainable in the long run. So what we have come back today is really about the data governance, the security of all the data that we are keeping and uh, containing. And the idea is really to have a clean data sets so that we could then have any processes and MLs coming in to ensure that we can make the best out of it. So in every conversation or almost every conversation we have with our customers throughout the Benelux, it starts with security and it starts with making sure that your data is safe and that with it, when implementing or making choices for a cloud vendor and implementing digital transformation, and ML and AI, security is of the heart, at the heart of almost every of these uh, conversations. How have you experienced speaking about security in the context of AI and machine learning? So indeed, initially, this was not part of the plan, right? So, I mean, we first need to look at what could we achieve in the cloud journey, and it wasn't really at the beginning. So after that, we realized that, okay, to do that and to move forward, we then come back and revisit so that we can really structure a security team around it to ensure that someone who is expert in this domain is able to look at what we are doing and then to work hand in hand with us, the operations to ensure that we are delivering something that is safe and properly uh, used and managed. Is there a limit? to what we can automate within companies in general and specifically for solving? No, I don't think so because automation is really something to amplify the human intelligence, right? I mean, uh, we in the and this is also uh, linking back to the mindset because it's important that we should then, when we start to repeat the same tasks over a thousand times, we should then start automating them. So meaning that we should have this kind of mindset that when things are repetitive, we should then keep on automating them to ensure that uh, that will also maximize our productivity and efficiency in the long term. Very cool. And are there, have you implemented any processes to facilitate that within your organization? How do you surface those interesting areas where you can actually automate? So the very simplistic uh, approach that we have had is that when we look at the security command center, we have a lot of findings and misconfiguration. So those are popping up every day and all that stuff. So how do we deal with it? So what we have done in, instead of looking one by one, the vulnerabilities is to ensure that we are able to automate it, do an auto generation of tickets into a backlog, and then we treat it in an agility way to say that, okay, how many sprints can we do out of this to ensure that we are able to reduce our backlog. 